So let's start. Um, hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Grace Huang, and uh, so welcome to our online webinar, which aims to promote the development of the money ecosystem. Um, I'm the marketing manager of Bitman and also the event host today. For So for this webinar episode, we will focusing on the adoption of hydro cooling solutions. So Bitman has prepared an introduction behind the technology of M space and the ant miner hydro cooling servers. Um, the second portion, um, sorry. Uh, so the second portion of the event is invite our key uh, key customers to discuss the experience, sharing the advantage of the technology. So please take a note because we will have a giveaway section at the end of the AMA discussion and, uh, and also before the open question section. Um, so first of all, let me introduce our speakers. Um, Hu, Hong, uh, Hu Hang Kong is our head of hydro cooling um, he's a designer, uh, head designer of the hydro cooling from Bitman. And uh, Lin Han is the uh, head of the marketing from Bitman. And uh, Marty So, and uh, he's the, from Merker Standard. He's a chief opting, opting, uh, opting officer and uh, Todd Barrett from Merker Standard. And he's a general manager. And Steve Edwards, Mark Standard, he's a technical lead. And uh, now let's uh, um, Hong Kong, our design engineer, introduce our hydro cooling miner. So um, Hong Kong, can you take a lead to show the, um, the PPT of the um, hydro cooling? So Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, can you, uh, can you, um, can you, uh, if you, yes, that would be great. Oh, I think you new to your audio, Hong Kong. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Hu Hang Kong. I'm the design engineer of hydro cooling container. I'm glad to discuss hydro cooling technology with you today. Hydro cooling products have been introduced many times in various promotional activities. This time, we will show with you some design details about reliability, convenience, and easy for use. Uh, please, uh, please have yeah, sure. I can, I can translate. No worries. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we will use the uh, traditional uh, uh, 呃, 轮塔方式 改成了现在的那个, 呃, 标准的, okay, so we we changed the traditional design of the container. Now this container is like 20 feet standard container, uh, shipping container size, and um, it comes with the uh, main box with the cooling tower. 嗯, 呃, 呃，我们的一个运输，另外一个也对现场的安装非常方便。So it's easier for of transportation and on-site on-site uh construction. 目前这种冷塔的方式也是得到了大家的认可。And so far, uh, people like the the design of the container. 另外我们在水冷集装箱的设计初期,我们就预留了多个冷却的方式。And we prepared a few ways for cooling, uh, for the design of the cooling tower. 就像我们在那个集装箱的后面预留了两个接口, 
，然后我们不但可以支持到了冷却塔的冷却方式，另外还可以支持到更多的一些其他的一些冷却方式以及热回收的一些利用。So we design like two joint at the container, which you can connect. Um, which you have a, a few multi ways to um to cool in the tower. 这样的话就方便客户，呃，因地制宜的进行一些部署，或者说采用更方便的一些散散热方式进行一些散热。So in this way, so our clients. Um, can choose different um, method depends on their their environment to um to 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 take care of the cooling issues. Hong Kong, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, 大家看到这个是我们的一个水冷板设计，它的外形看起来是非常的简洁。Oh, this is our. This is the design of the our coat plate. It's a very simple and sleek design. 呃，这个这样的一个设计的话，对我们产品，对我们这个冷板的一个整体的密封性，它是有非常好的一个帮助。So this design is to ensure, uh, we have a reliable sealing. 另外，在那个冷板上。大家可以看到有很多弹带弹性的一些螺丝，这样可以确保我们在任何时候我们的冷板跟芯片保持一个可靠的一个接触。So you you、uh, which you can see on the top of the plate there are a few um screws and which is better for um reliable sealing. 在集装箱的里面，我们的所有的管路，包括不管是软管还是硬管，我们用的材质都是，呃，满足长期可靠性运行的。So inside the container, the design of the container, which we always think about the short term and long term, which can uh fulfill the customers' needs for a long term reliable operations. 呃，在控制方面的话，我们在有我们实现了当地和远程的一键开启，这样方便我们产品的一个运维。So, so we have uh the auto temperature control in the system, which is easier for our client to operate. 同时，我们也开发了面向大客户的一个集群的控制控制软件。At the same time, we developed the intelligent remote cluster monitoring, which help our customer to understand the system better. 水冷集装箱的所有的信息，几乎所有的信息都可以通过我们的远程的管理软件，呃，进行一个呃实时的监控。So you can you can get all the information. Uh, from uh, for for the hydro cooling uh miner um like on time. 它同时也具备多个集装箱的一个监控功能。And which you can have the multiple container information at the same time. 我我这边的介绍就先到这儿，谢谢大家。So that's the introduction of the hydro cooling miner from Hong Kong. Thank you, Hong Kong. Okay, so the next one we're gonna go to our uh, panel. We have some questions which answered by our speakers, um, which can help her um, help our clients uh, uh, help you understand better of hydro cooling miners. And uh, um, so let's go to the first question. So the first question is. Can you explain the technology behind Bitman's hydro cooling products? Um, so, so let's go to Bitman. Like, uh, who want to answer these questions? Hong Kong, do you want to answer this question? Okay. Um, Bitman, actually, in 
七八年之前就开始进行了一些业务技术的一些探索和研究。So Bitman started a research and development development of the liquid uh, liquid hydro technology around seven or eight years ago. So the current hydro cooling products is a lot of experience and technology of the company. 尤其是在那水冷的散热的效率，然后产品的密封性，以及它的易安装性、易维护性方面，都我们都有很多的一些专利和独特的设计。So especially in the heat dissipation efficiency of the hydro cooling product sealing, easy installation, uh, pat patented and unique designs for easier maintenance. Um, we have we have did a lot of research, right? So, anyone want to say more? Okay, I can answer this question. Hi, everyone. I'm Lin Hai, also called X Mailin. I'm the head of marketing of Bitman. Um, I will answer this question in another, you know, in another, uh, in another way. Uh, we all know that hydroquin technology is a relatively new technology for the crypto mining industry, but its history can be traced back to the end of the last century. And it has also been proven to be a very efficient heat dissipation technology. Take a very simple example. We all know there are a lot of hydroquin computers and hydroquin vehicle systems. Uh, I remember Toyota has developed a very famous hydro cooling engine system like called the Toyota Dynamic Force Hydro. Uh, also, hydro cooling system has a high efficiency of heat dissipation, but there are always some obstacles to its promotion due to high te technical threshold and some safety requirements. Great, thank you, Lin Han. Thank you for no, sharing. No, I, 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 I still want to answer more. <laughs> cool. Sorry, interrupt. Based on industry experience and professional R and D team, Bitman innovatively applies hydro cooling technology to the crypto mining industry, creating safe, efficient, and convenient hydro cooling miners and mining solutions. We provide an integrated solution of miner and container. Each container is equipped with a cooling tower at the same time, and customers can install the hydro cooling miner into the container. The cooling pipes of the miner is connected to the container, and the cooling liquid flows in from the side of the container and passing through the cooling pipes of the miner and taking away the heat of the miner, and then flows out of the container, becomes the heated coolant and then it will flow into the cooling tower. There will be natural water in the cooling tower to spray to the coolant to cool down. When the coolant is fully cooled down, it becomes the normal temperature coolant again, and then flows into the container to continue cooling. So it recycles in the container. And this solution is proven to be safe, efficient, and stable. At the same time, we choose to use cooling pipes to connect the hydro miners rather than directly immersing the miner into the coolant, which also effectively avoids the corrosion of the mining machine by the coolant. Uh, here, I also want to show you a video to help you better understand the cooling, the water, the hydro cooling system. Uh, I will do a screen sharing right now. Perfect, please. Can you share? Can you share your uh, screen? Wait, uh, wait a second. Yeah. Concentrated hash rate performance, diverse environmental adaptability, complete hydro cooling operations, waterproof and dustproof design, further noise reduction, silent operations, hydro cooled power supply.
Installation of Adminer S19 Pro Plus Hydro in AdSpace HK3. Step 1. Connect the outlet water tube. Step 2. Connect the inlet water tube. Step 3. Open the water valve. Step 4. Connect the Ethernet cable. Step 5. Connect the power supply cable. Step 6. Go to the power distribution cabinet and flip the switch to power up Adminer S19 Pro Plus Hydro. S19 Pro Plus Hydro's performance is played through Ant Sentry Management System. Together with Ant Space, an all in one hydro cooling solution, houses up to 210 Ant Miner hydro cooling units, mined during every season of the year. That's how, thanks. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for explaining the details of the uh, detailed technology of the uh, hydro cooling products, which is quite cool. Thank you, Hong, Hong Kong and uh, Lin Han. Um, let's go to our second question, which is what kind of current is used for hydro cooling operations? So how does this ensure efficiency during operations? So, um, so Merker, Peterman, who want to answer the questions? We, we can take that, uh, that question. Um, Marty, thanks so much thank for, mm -hmm. yeah, thank you very much for inviting us to be part of this webinar. Um, we have a 23 megawatt site up here in Washington state where we've been deploying your hydro products and we've been really happy with it so far. Um, it's been a, a fun technology to deploy. Um, so, I'm gonna introduce uh, my general manager, Todd Barron, and my technical lead, um, Steve Edwards. So I'll kick this question over to Todd uh, for the makeup water that we use. Um, and he can discuss both our closed loop and our open loop system. Go ahead, Todd. Thanks, Todd. Uh, good morning, happy to be here. Uh, like Monty just mentioned, there is a closed loop. That closed loop, <coughs> only passes through the miners themselves and the, on a, the distribution system, and it's not exposed to the outside air. That is made up of 50% water and 50% propylene glycol, which is uh, a antifreeze coolant, and it provides also corrosion protection and other properties and a very efficient heat transfer medium. And then the other side, the open side, is just plain water, which is only treated for uh, to prevent biological growth or corrosion and those things. But that that evaporates and and allows us to get just a little bit more cooling performance when needed at the higher temperatures. Thank you for thank you thank you for the answer, Todd. Um, what about Bitman Hong Kong? You are the head of the design. Uh, design of the hydro cooling. Do you want to share some details of the of the cooler? Okay. 那个就像刚才说的一样，就是说我们在在不同地方，我们要选选用不同的一些那个呃冷却液。Okay. So the choice of cooler in the hydro cooling man a uh, cooling manner is de determined by the uh, climate conditions or of the environment where the product is located. Uh, so if there is no risk of freezing at all, the soft, the, the just pure water or soft, just pure water or tap water can be selected as the coolant. In the coolant that has a risk of freezing, we would choose to use a So if there is a risk of freezing, you need to choose a suitable antifreeze as the coolant uh, according to the local temperature. 
呃，另外有房东业的，在房东业选择的时候，它的质量也是非常关键。嗯、呃，这样的话，我们选择有质量保障的房东业的话，可以确保我们在防冻、在抗菌、还有防腐这些方面可以做到长期的一个稳定。So it's recommended to choose a quality um product for antifreeze. So, uh, which can ensure long-term stability and reliability in antifreeze, prevent bacteria and uh, corrosion protections. 这样可以避免因为选择了不合格的冷却液导致的频繁的维护，影响客户的收益。Which can prevent, um, you know, which can prevent the damage of the miner for uh for our clients. 我这边就这些。Thank you for sharing, Hong Kong. Uh, Lin Han, you want to share for this answer? Uh, no, I think the answer perfectly. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Um, thank you for sharing, guys. Uh, then let's go to third questions. Um, which is how much space apart do the container and the cooling tower need? Um, so um, does Marika know the answer of the, of this? Yeah, Marty, go ahead. Yeah, um, Todd's got this uh, this one. He's been um, working in our layout and with our construction team. So go ahead, right. Todd. Todd, do you want to share with us? Yes. So the ant space with the miners in it and the cooling tower are placed six meters apart. Uh huh. And then the each the the containers are of course about uh, two and a half meters. Each, so it's very compact. Right, right. That's true. Um, so Hong Kong, is that the right answer for the container? Uh, is, 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 the container actually is a, is around a two. It's a two part. So it's a twenty feet containers. Um, so one is the main equipment box, and the other one is the cooling tower. The distance between the two box is around two meters, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, the first question um, uh, we want to ask our market team is how many percent of your operations utilize hydro cooling solutions and why did the marker choose to buy hydro cooling miners? Yeah, I'll, I'll take that question. Uh, so right now we have a 100 megawatt facility and like I said, we're right at about 25%, 23 megawatts. Uh, so you know, just under a quarter of our uh, first build out here was hydro. Um, mm -hmm. We chose it because of you know, the research that we had done. And of course, because of our partnership with Bitmain as, as we understood that this product was coming and um, we were excited to deploy it. But based on our experience with this, um, we've gotten to learn the technology, how to operate it. Um, it's very different than air-cooled mining. It's just a completely different ball game. Um, but um, that doesn't mean it's hard, it's just different. And so as we have learned how to run this product, um, we've been extremely impressed with it. Uh, and our plans going forward um, for our new sites and other other areas we're developing is to use this uh, technology um, right now for the for what we're we're looking at um, right out of like 100 percent of our new our new build outs it's our plan to be um, to be hydro so that that's our endorsement of this technology is once we've gotten to learn how how it works um, really impressed with it and uh, we'll be employing it in our future sites. Yeah, I think I think we think you Merker made the right choice to choose hydro miner for sure. And we do believe the future of hydro uh, miners. Uh, thank you for sharing. Um, so the five question, the fifth question. Uh, so what benefits do hydro cooling operations have? Let's go to Bitman first. Like uh, uh, Hong Kong, you want to answer, answer this question? OK. Uh... 更好的一个那个散热效果呢，它往往会能能带来更优的一个能效，所以说水冷在这方面有更好的一个优势。Okay, so 
better, better heat dissipation can bring better energy efficiency. And we think hydro miner can do better on this side. So all, all design of the hydro miner is um stable temperature is in stable temperature um control, which we believe can keep the product in the best working states. So the um so the, con the controllable environment state in the container is uh, very significant and conductive to long-term stable operations. At the same time, the, the, uh, the ceiling, the perfect ceiling, the good ceiling will also be greatly reduce the effect of the dust uh, on the uh, the effect of effect of dust on the product life, life span. Thank you for sharing. Um, Merker, like uh, what, so, so far you've been using the hydro miner, so what benefits do you think the hydro cooling operations have? You want to share with us? Yeah, uh, I'll take a first uh, first go at this and then I'll, I'll pass it over to my, my team as well. Um, you know, just from, you know, a, a company-wide perspective, it's stability of hash rate. You know, we've had temperatures as high as 104 degrees this year. Um, it's been a hot summer here in Washington State. Right. And we've just had a, a flat line. It's just consistent performance, um, uh, very stable operations. Um, and, and some of the, you know, stuff we mentioned earlier, you know, don't need to worry about the dust, don't need to worry about the outside environment. As far as a pod solution goes, you know, I've been in this industry for several years. Um, I personally am not a big fan of any pods. I think, you know, for air cooled, you need to be in a building. But for for this, this is the first pod solution um, that that I really liked, uh, just because of the density and the stability of it. Um, so I'll kick this one over to Steve Edwards, our technical lead. He's been running air cooled machines and then the uh, hydro machine. So. Steve, could you put a finer point on this? Yeah, sure. Steve, can you share with us your perspective? Sure, I'll try. Um, Monty covered it pretty well. Uh, it They definitely um, have advantages, just like I said, in stability. Um, they're, not, they, they, they're not worried about the ambient air temperature, like the air units. They don't need uh, special environments. Uh, so far, we've our our startups have, have been smooth, and and our operation has been smooth because of the uh, the cooling aspect of the water. It uh, you know, it, as I learned in uh, first aid, water cools ten times better than air, so it uh, it's very very efficient, and uh, I think it'll uh, increase the longevity of the the system. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, we, we, that's true. Like uh, hydro cooling, we think is more stable and uh, it's better for long term, you know, investment. Um, right. right, I agree. So, um, yeah. Lin Han, want to share? You. Uh, yeah, in my perspective, I think hydro cooling can effectively reduce operation and maintenance costs. You know, first of all, hydro cooling has high efficiency of heat dissipation, and the damage rate and failure rate of the miners are relatively low. And secondly, the container hydro cooling mining solution developed by Bitman can be better dust proof and sealed, uh, because it uses containers, that, you know, like data centers, um, and then can and it can reduce the failure rate due to the environmental problems. And finally, the hydro cooling container is equipped with a complete set of intelligent operation and maintenance systems. With the, haste, with, with the help of this intelligent system, they can also reduce the on-site on operation and maintenance personnel and the workload. Thanks. Thanks for your... So, so, Marty, you want to share? Yeah. 
Yeah, I just wanted to mention, um, you know, we talked about the failure rate and the, and the machine stability. You know, we've deployed several thousand of these machines so far, and I've deployed thousands, you know, of machines, um, both Bitmain machines and other brands, you know, uh, over the past few years of operations. Um, this has been the best deployment we've had so far. I've only had uh, one computer out of the several thousand that needed a power supply being replaced. And so uh, for me, that that's quite impressive. Um, as an operator, I'm impressed by that. And um, when we're talking about you know, st stability, you know, when with the air-cooled machine, you know, there's a temperature swing from hot to cold every day, from the coldest point of the day to the hottest point of the day. And that just causes that chip and all the small components to swell, you know, expand and contract like, you know, expansion joints on a bridge. With this hydro, we have that thermal stability. And, you know, what I've noticed, you know, operating machines for years and years of air-cooled operating is um, the machines will start to break down after a few years because they've gone through, you know, hundreds and hundreds of those cycles of expanding and contracting um, with that uh, temperature change every day. With, right. with hydro, we just have perfect flat line stability, so it doesn't put so much stress on the machines. So just wanted to add that. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. We all know like stability is a key factor for crypto mining and uh, we learned, that's, thank you so much for sharing your real experience with hydro miner. Um, okay, let's go to the, uh, the next question. Um, so which uh, we want to ask America team is uh, what setup requirements should you consider to start hydro cooling operations? And uh, do you, can you guys share some of your initial investments and uh, you know, uh, the operation costs? Can you share the details with us and also some like construction process? Yeah, the, the actual cost per megawatt um, is pretty competitive um, compared to, you know, any, you know, respectable, well-built air-cooled design. Um, I think we'll approach, like every contractor is going to be different. Your cost is going to you know, include the property, your construction crew and that kind of thing. But um, cost per megawatt, you know, I, I think ballpark, you know, 300K per megawatt um, or a little bit less is a, uh, you know, is something you should aim for. Depends on, again, your construction, um, the type of transformers that you've uh, selected, uh, so forth. As far as like the site and the construction process uh, and site selection, um, Todd, can you um, talk us through that on, on how we've been working that for our team? Yeah, so of course, uh, one of your primary ongoing um, requirements is water and so, a adequate research into the water supply to make sure that it meets the quality requirements that are listed in the, the Bitmain uh, manual. That's the critical factor when you evaluate your site. Uh, the the uh, noise and essentially all the other issues that, that need to be considered when deploying a mine um, for the most part are actually easier for hydro but the, the one um, critical component is the quality of water. So a suitable amount of research needs to be applied to that detail. Thanks for sharing that. Um, right, so let's go to the next question. Uh, where do you see the future of hydro cooling operation going? And why is there a sudden increased interest in hydro cooling adoption? Um, so from Bitman team, uh, Hong Kong Ling Han, you guys want to share? Yeah. Uh, okay, Hong Kong first. Oh, okay. Hong Kong, you can go first. Uh, 所以我们在这个行业的应用现在还处在一个初级阶段，很多地方，我们认为很多地方还有很大的一个提升空间。So the application of the hydro cooling still at very early stage, and there is still much room for improvement in many places. 未来我们会在那个冷板跟芯片之间的一个散热效率，呃，还有那个节能节水。以及增强产品的一个场景适应性方面，以及在拓展它在余热回收、发电等领域的一个新应用。So in the future, uh, we will expand uh, new applications in the fields, 
of uh, waste heat uh, recovery and the power generation in the heat dissipation efficiency, energy saving, and the water saving for cold plates and the chips. We will try, we will make our best effort to enhance the, the sense adaptability of the products and enhance the green energy saving uh, in mining industry. Ling Han, you want to share more with us? Uh, yes, we believe the hydro cooling solution will lead the direction of the entire mining industry. Before there are so many advantages of the hydro cooling solutions, but to be honest, it was difficult to be popularized before. An important reason of that is the lack of scientific research teams and funds for the hydro cooling technologies, let alone promoting it to the public. As the world's largest mining machine manufacturer, Bitman, uh, it's been my responsibility to lead the industry with hydro technology to lead the industry into a better future. We're happy to invest in the research and development of hydro technology and uh, use our and try our best efforts to promote hydro cooling solutions to the public and lead the mine industry to a more efficient, safe, and ESG friendly time. And uh, also, for example, uh, for the air cooling solutions, due to the operation of the big fans, the data centers are often noisy and the fans will raise a lot of dust, which is not friendly to the on-site staff. So the operations of the maintenance workload is very heavy. Uh, however, hydro cooling solutions avoid these problems improves the working environment of operation and maintenance staffs. And furthermore, it improves work efficiency. Technology makes humans live better. It's hydro cooling technology. Yes. Thank you for sharing, Inhan. Yes, we do believe with the future of hydro miner. And uh, um, Marker, like, uh, what's your what's your experience? Like, do you believe, like, what, what do you think about this question? Well, um, just because of the stability of the operation, um, it makes sense on a, on a financial level and an operational level. So, you know, a lot of people are, are you know, looking at an ROI calculator, um, expecting, you know, a certain amount of ROI and a performance of their machine. And they're, you know, looking for a, you know, very high percentage uptime. And um, I, I think what they're not calculating an air-cooled machines, you know, it doesn't matter what the brand is, um, the downtime from cleaning with, you know, the dust that gets pulled through the fans, uh, like, um, like you guys just mentioned, or, uh, the machine kind of self-limiting and reducing some of the hash rate when it gets hotter during the day. So just from a pure financial perspective, you have a flat line of performance. It's just, it works and it works in all environments day and night. It's just, uh, you know, solid and stable. Um, so yeah, th that's why, you know, all of our sites going forward, you know, we've come to understand this technology and we're planning to use hydro um, in, in our, our large deployments going forward. And I, I saw my colleague, uh, Steve Edwards had his hand up. So um, Steve, do you wanted to add something? Yeah, please, Steve. Yeah, I just, the uh, back to question seven, the, the construction process, one of the, with the air, it didn't seem as um, that we had the issue or not the issue, but uh, it, we had to deal with uh, permitting uh, with the uh, hydros. We there's permitting that has to happen, and obviously in the states, every state is different. And I, I think Monty or Todd could probably talk more to it. Uh, but I just remember that uh, um, that was something we had to deal with during during the hydro build out. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your experience. And uh, okay, let's go to the next next question. Um, so, what are misconceptions the general public has regarding um, hydro cooling miner? So, why do miners need to be purchased in a certain number of units with end space? I think Hong Kong would be perfect to answer these technical questions. Mm -hmm. Hong Kong, you want to share with us? Okay. 我想大家可能对水冷这块可能比较担心的一点就是说水冷的容易泄漏
So people may be worried at the beginning, the hydrocooling is easy to leak. And uh, so, but as we just mentioned, we have considered how to make the seating better in other detail and in our, um, such as the design and uh, processing of the cold plate. Our, our development team, uh, we did a, a lot of research and uh, such as the design and the processing of the cold plate, piping and the uh, material of the, even the joint, which ensure the reliability of sealing uh, in long-term use. Um, yeah, go ahead. 我们驱动矿机自身的话，它也也有一定的密封性，然后有一定的防水能力。The container itself also have very reliable sealing and the water, uh, water, uh, like prevent the leak, uh, function. 另外，我们在那个集装箱里面也部署了那个绿叶检测绳，就是说当。有系统有滴水的时候，它会主动去上报。嗯，从目前整个运行状况来看的话，我们这些措施都起到了非常好的作用。So a leak detection sensor sensor actually, uh, we sat directly under the pipe joint of the mining machine and in the in the uh in the ant uh ant box. So where there is a water drop leakage, it will actively report to, to the team. It have alarm inside. Okay, thank you for sharing, Hong Kong. Lin Han, you want to share more? Yes, yeah, sure. I want to clarify one misconception. Uh, when we sell the product to the customers, all containers and miners are stored together. You may wondering why we do this. First of all, I want to clarify that we would never force our customers to purchase both miners and containers together. The reason why we do this is that hydro cooling technology is a new technology to the market. Our customers do not have enough knowledge of these products, and many customers don't know how to build a hydro cooling data center. So we provide a together sales model of hydro container and miners, which can truly realize one-stop mining and help lower the mining threshold and promote hydro cooling solution to the public. If customers have special needs, and they can contact us at any time, we are willing to provide customized service for any customers. That's how thanks. Thank you for sharing. Um, right, that's actually, we never really forced our customer to buy like certain number of miner because we do want to, uh, for actually we think everything for, for our client perspective because we want to save their costs actually to build the mining side by themselves because actually Bitman have the best technology to provide a better and more stable working environment for the mining uh, machine. So actually we, we consider that, we made that decision because actually we, for the client's perspective. Um, so great, thank you for sharing. Um, the, the next question uh, we want to ask a marker, let's go, marker goes first. So how are hydro cooling server designed for long-term operations? And what technology is safeguarded the operations? Yeah, um, just like we were discussing, you know, it's a different product. Um, you know, the industry is used to to air cooled, um, so you know, it, it definitely need to approach this subject, you know, with with some expertise. It's not difficult; it's just different. And so, right. um, as as far as uh, you know, your your question about. Um, you know, the operations, um, kind of safety precautions that we have, the different kinds of alarms and setups. Um, I'll, I'll put that one over to Steve Edwards because he's been helping us commission these these pods um, and, and work working through uh, the commissioning process. 
Can you talk us through that, Steve? Steve? Yeah, they, uh, so the, the units uh, are come equipped with uh, a lot of different safeguards for uh, flow, cooling flow, cooling <clears throat> pressure, cooling temperature. Uh, the miners themselves have safeguards to shut themselves down if they get too hot. Uh, there's leak detection in the box so that if uh, any of the miners uh, cooling starts to, to leak, uh, you, you'll get an alarm. Um, so there's 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 lots of uh, various sensors and alarms to alert you of any issue, uh, so they can be corrected quickly. Um, so far, we haven't experienced a lot of that issue. So um, there there could be alarms that we don't even know yet because we haven't had any issues. So, um, uh, but yeah, they're they're well equipped to to alert you in case of trouble. Thank you for sharing, Steve. Um, Peter Man, Hong Kong, Ning Han, want to share more? I did have mail. Okay. Okay, so, okay, sure. From the product design perspective, you are perfect to explain this, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. 啊，出去投资，然后确保，呃，我们产品那个长期可靠性的运行。我们在产品的呃生命呃寿命周期上，我们就做了一个充分的考虑。Okay. So, uh, in the early stage of the product design, um, it's Bitman's main goal to ensure the initial investment. Of our customer and to ensure the long term stable operation uh, of the miner. 另外我们在集装箱跟矿机的设计方面,我们的所有的接口都采用了一些标准的一些接口,这样可以确保我们矿机在不断的一个迭代的过程中,我们还可以跟我们集装箱进行一个完美的一个配合。From um, from the design perspective, Actually, both the container and the miner adopt standard interface design, which can ensure after you know continuous updates of the miner, it can still be installed and the container still can be used for updated manner. <laughs> So, actually, mm -hmm. so our customers don't need to worry about repeatedly purchase uh, or remodel the uh, the hydro cooling container with the upgrade, um, you know, and with the container. Mm -hmm. So at present, the hydro miner has also upgraded several generation products, and all of them are all very compatible. So thank you for sharing, Hong Kong. Perfect. All right. So then the last question. Uh, are there any other things you want to share about hydro cooling miners and marketing? Yeah, um, you know, it's been a, a fun process to deploy this, you know, technology at this scale for the first time. The the water block technology, you know, has been around for a while, but you know, I, what I've seen you guys is you've unbundled the data center and then you've repackaged it in a condensed uh, format. Um, you know, getting you know megawatt plus out of every every 20 foot container, which is really impressive. So we've had fun deploying it. Um, you know, we definitely, you know, recommend use a very professional team uh, when deploying this, this product. Um, it's a great product uh, to work with, um, you know, on the operational side, just for that stability we've been talking about. Um, 
Yeah, I uh, wanted to thank the Bitmain team. You know, we had we, your full technical staff out here yesterday um, going through this and you know, we've had some some input and some feedback on, on a few of the processes and, and the manuals and that kind of thing. But we appreciate you um, always being there to clarify the questions that we have technically. Um, so we've been able to resolve that, um, any questions that we have. Uh, Todd, do you wanna um, just kind of talk about anything we didn't cover uh, with this in our, in our deployment? You know, kind of what we've learned as a team um, going forward? Um, yeah, I guess I'd, I'd like to also just comment um, in general, the first time I saw liquid cooled high performance computers was in the 80s. This is uh, it's an established technology. It's it's a new application in applying it to ASICs, but for the highest performance, that's that's uh, liquid cooling has been the way to access the highest performance for many years now. Uh, and the same, the the cooling tower technology is applied to many industries. It's very well established. So I think there, there may be some uh, concern or, or um, just the, the unfamiliarity with the operators in this industry, but it's well established technology. Um, no, no one should be concerned about the, the long-term performance. Um, I, it will be much more stable. You, know, you can provide better environmental conditions for the miners. And so I'm confident that they will have very high reliability for a lot longer lifetime than the competitive technologies of there. Um, we uh, really, the, the system was well designed to control the conditions for the miners, like we've already alluded to. The hash rate has been able to stay stable through the whole range of temperature uh, in, in the area where we operate. The temperatures are, are quite, uh, the, or the variation is quite large. Um, we haven't experienced winter yet, but we've been, we've operated in a 40 degree, um, you know, upper 40s up through, like he mentioned, 104 degrees. Hash rate has been rock solid the whole time. So I think this is a technology that it's, going to move the entire industry forward. Thank you for sharing marketing.